All right, now we're anchored. We got a good wrap. We know how to hang. We feel secure. Now we have to start moving. How do we start moving? Pretty simple. All it is is standing up. So kick, wrap, kick, arms up high. I put my foot on top of the rope. You want to get even fancier, you can flex that toe a little bit. Nothing too fancy, but you can do that just to assure that you got a good wrap. Here comes the next step. I stand up, hips come up to the rope. I reach up over my head. That's your step. So all I did was, not using my arms, I stood tall. Now I pulled in. One more time. Stand tall, pull in. Reach up overhead. That's your step. I am not pulling with my arms. I'm using my hips. I'm extending my hips and standing up against the rope. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's your first step. Once you have that, here comes the magic. And this is why we need to have the capacity of holding that little uh, tuck hold or that little L seat that we did earlier, L hang that we did earlier. Here it comes. Kick, wrap, kick. Arms up overhead, I stand, reach. Now it comes, and this is how we're gonna do it. With my foot, my right foot under my butt, I'm gonna pull up, hold a little tuck, I'm gonna shimmy a little bit just so that rope goes through, kick out in front of me, and I end up in the same position I started earlier, where my hips are far away from the rope, my arms are straight, and I'm nicely anchored to be able to do another step. So. That's your climb. Wrap, kick, hips are far away. Use your hips to stand, big reach. Tuck the leg up with your foot underneath you. Shimmy a little bit just to get that rope to slide through and then kick straight back out again. If you kick down, you're gonna be slipping and sliding and burning your leg. If you kick out or up, you're gonna be pinching and hanging, which is better. I'd rather bruise than bleed.